All right, everyone, welcome to day 29 of character design. Now, this character, she is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Sometimes I just feel like I have a character design that makes all my character designs I've done before look absolutely ugly. <laughs> and I'm like, well, darn. But that's life in it. <laughs> sometimes you just hit the nail on the head and then sometimes you get a character you love regardless. <laughs> Now, this character is not a redesign. It's an emoji challenge. Chrissy sent me these emojis and I was like, yes, guess I will draw that into a character, thank you. Now, the emojis are the skull crossbones, the little bride emoji, and the crown. Now, um, I started off sketching the face shape and the eyes. I wanted to make the eye, I, um, mm -hmm, the, eye the eyeliner, I guess, and the, the lashes, very extreme, very cool, very fun. That had nothing to do with the emojis, that's just what I wanted to do. And I made the face shape into a fox because I thought the colors on the like emojis were very fox. Like they're giving fox energy. I don't I don't know why. I think it's because they're like the same colors as my character Lucinda. I'll put her on screen and I don't I just connected those colors to fox. That's why. That's it. She ended up not being those colors in the end, but we'll get there. <laughs> now for the crown emoji, I tried to make her ears. In the shape of that crown with the little nub at the end. I thought that was very cool and interesting and added something kind of fun. For the skull, I added little skulls on the hairpiece and then I added a veil going around it and then I just started uh, sketching her body type which is she's not skinny but I wouldn't say she's chunky. She's just average I guess. And I wanted to give her a staff to kind of solidify the fact that like she's Maybe like a queen or an empress, either one. I think that'd be cool. Me and Chrissy definitely talked about um, what she would be in my comic. She was thinking maybe she would be like the queen of my little underground, like not sewer area, but my underground area under the city of diamonds. Now I have a queen character, her name's Deanne. She is the queen of diamonds, that's what she is. And I feel like this character would be a rival to her. So that was definitely discussed, and that's kind of why I went for like an empress look. And to match that, uh, the ears that are supposed to look like a crown, I did the same with the tails. So I made them long, and then they don't separate, they connect, and they have the little nub at the end. And I also added beads on them. And I also, to match the veil on the head, I gave her a mesh skirt that also has a train. And I added X's on the chest. I'm not sure why. I'd, I guess to match the skull and crossbones. And then gave her a belt with a skull. And then added more mesh on the top. Sketching this was a lot of fun. It's definitely one of my cleaner sketches for sure. Now her pose isn't crazy a dynamic. But let's, let's, I think we can all agree it's better than the ones I've been drawing. <laughs> or at least some of them. Maybe not all of them. But you can actually see I struggled to draw the left arm. I, th I think I still struggle with that in the line art too. Now after sketching, of course we are onto line art and that was a breeze. I used my pen brush. I didn't use, I don't think I used the marker brush. Yeah, I used, well, no, I used, I definitely used the pen brush. Yeah. There's two pens I use and you, you can tell in, in the end what I use. And I use the pen brush, which is like a rounded pen brush. Simple. It's a pen brush. <laughs> It's easy, it's nice, and then I will use the marker brush, and that's, um, if you look on screen, if you look at my sprite right now, I use the marker brush. You can tell the difference. It gives like a more slanted look. I use that when I, I can actually draw. I use the pen brush when I feel like I can't draw. <laughs> so there's a little secret. <laughs> so if you see me drawing a character with a pen brush, it's because I'm feeling lazy that day or I don't feel confident, which is very odd considering this uh, picture turned out stunning, in my opinion. She didn't have confidence, but she made it work. <laughs> and I also, I made sure to make those eyelashes and everything just stick out, which I think it's more fun. I think since I have so many characters, I've been thinking about like making eyes different or eyelashes. Well, actually considering that like in real life, I, I never put on makeup. I used to never. I don't, I'm not really sure why. I think it's just because I didn't, I wouldn't say I didn't want people making fun of me. It's just like I have people around me. I used to have like a certain person around me in real life that would like just absolutely judge me and I just did not have like the like emotional energy to do with it. And like as I grew up, I realized I didn't have to deal with that and I could just ignore it. <laughs> I think I just realized that a bit better. And I just do what I want with makeup and I do extreme like stupid 
cartoony looks. I'm not gonna show it because I don't want to show my face. I'm sure one day I will, but right now I just don't feel like it. And it's not, it has nothing to do with the confidence thing. It has everything to do with a safety and security. <laughs> but I really like to do like bold eyeliner kind of. I wouldn't call it really eyeliner because I never do it like on my eyes. It's like around my eyes. It's very, it's very artistic and stupid. <laughs> but I guess that's why I felt inspired to do hers different. I really like her hairstyle, by the way. I think that's so cute. She definitely does remind me of my character Lucinda that I mentioned before with the hairstyle. I don't know. I feel like they could be sisters. Definitely took my fine time lighting this. It took a while, but I was just kind of patient with it. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's so funny because I draw really quickly. And when I do these character designs, I'm finding myself just like trying to enjoy them more. If it's going well. If it's not going well, I'm not going to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm not always going to enjoy it. But if I'm like working on it, I like try and just take my time because this is going to be in a video and I need to be patient, you know? Which I think that's, in some of them, it's really showing the line art that I'm taking my time. In some of them, you can tell I'm frustrated. <laughs> When I was lining the beads on the tail, I copy and pasted them because of course I did. And it just keeps the shape of the beads consistent. And honestly, that's what I would recommend for people to do. Because it would have taken me so much longer to draw them by hand. Now if I were doing it traditional, it wouldn't take me that long. But for digital, there's something about it that like it would take forever. Which that is definitely like a bonus being a traditional artist. I'm not like I would say I'm more of a digital artist than traditional, but like when you're drawing traditional, like it's you, it's just easier to draw. I don't I don't know why that is the case, but I mean for me it is. I'm sure there's people who it's the opposite. After lighting, I was on to coloring, and I pretty much just took the colors off of the skull bones and plopped it down the gray, which is weird because I originally saw her as like yellow, but that changed. Now something I did was like I immediately took the the color from the jewels on the crown and put it on the beads, and then I realized, wow, those colors are absolutely hideous. Why on earth that emoji has those colors? Is like it's red, purple, and green. Why? Why? Who did? Who decided that? Those colors do not go together. So I just chose um, primary because of course, I feel like that makes much more sense if you have three colors that you don't know what you're gonna do, especially if it's jewels, just, just use the primary colors. That's the easiest thing you could do, so to just do that. Since I was getting a little overwhelmed of just like trying to figure out the colors, I just picked the face and I sectioned it off. You know, we learned lessons from making those monster girls and that's sectioning off um, doing colors, especially when you're overwhelmed. So that's what I did. I took the red, the red color I picked out. I think it was from the emoji with the bride. I'm not sure. I might've just picked it myself, but I just plopped it down on the lips and gave her eye tears, which I feel like goes with the skull and crossbones. So I allowed it. <laughs> And I started, now I probably wasn't, I wasn't planning on keeping it blue. I was just placing it down to get the shape. But I was adding patterns onto her skin and stuff. 
Now, I always mention how, like, I'll do particles on the skin, but I'm allowing it this time because this is, like, part- of, this is, like, advanced. You know what I mean? It's not, like, just throwing some, like, particle sprinkles on a character and calling it good. Like, it looks- I don't know. It just looks raccoon -y mixed cheetah. <laughs> now that, like, I'm thinking about it- Now, I'm a Christian girly. And, like, leprosy is mentioned in the Bible. I have no idea- I'm, leprosy, I'm assuming, is, like, looks like leopard spots. That's why it's called leprosy. I'd assume. I think so. I think that's the case. I feel like someone told me that. But, like, my brain is, like, saying, that looks like it would be leprosy. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why Why am I connecting that in my brain? But maybe it does. Maybe that's maybe that's what that looks like. I, I wouldn't know. And I'm not about to Google search that. But it kind of does like look like she'd have an illness, especially while it's blue, while I'm like blocking in the in the in the in the shapes. Honestly, if you need to block something in on like skin or anything, it's better to take a darker color. Cause whenever I like take a color that's closer to the skin, like for my mini me, if you see the um, skin color and then you see the darker color, I used to add like blushes on the cheeks and on the fingers. Sometimes I'll color that in, and I'll miss a spot if I'm not careful. So it's better to color it in with a darker color and then change it. Unless you've drawn that character like 50 million times, then sometimes you get in the habit of like doing it accurately. But for when you draw a character first off, it's better to color it in with a darker color and then fix it later. I hope the tail shapes make sense. There, it's two tails, but you, the, <laughs> how do I explain this? It's two tails, but each tail has two tufts that come off. Hopefully that makes sense, but I used the patterns to my advantage. I made one tail primarily have the darker color and then the other one primarily have the lighter color. That way it just makes everything look a bit better and a bit more even. After that, I wanted to incorporate the tear stripes from the face onto the skin as well because it was just sticking out. So I added like ribbons that go across her arms and legs, which I think is very fun, very cool. I think it fits her style. And I also think it helps incorporate that headpiece and the beads because it has the same shape or the same same lines you i'm sure you get what i'm saying then i just start playing around trying to add the other colors i want trying to play with the gray colors see what looks good now the outfit what it is it's like a bra a bra like a, a one piece top that connects in the middle with some fabric and the hips they don't have fabric on them and then it connects to the underwear it's, I know it's kind of a little confused. It it kind of is a little confusing. I'm not sure. I get it. <laughs> but I feel like people, other people might not. And here I am trying to color in the beads. I did end up choosing primary colors. It just took me a while to get there, which is fair. So I took that color, the yellow color from the crown, and I'm trying to put it other places. Now, I felt like it was a little too saturated, so I desaturated it a little bit, which made it look 10 times better. And then I pink picked a creamy yellow color for the bones and for the eyes and the skulls, which looks so much better than that gray, gray skull color, which if you think about it, why is it colored gray? Skulls aren't really gray, are they? They're more of that like creamy white, aren't they? I'm pretty sure, hold on, I'm gonna Google it. Well, am I gonna see something I don't wanna see? <laughs> skull images. Yeah, no, they're the definitely more of the creamy yellow color. Yeah, why on earth? What's wrong with the emoji? Why you why you why you acting like that? When I was coloring in her outfit, I originally tried to do a light, lighter color scheme, and that was like that was not it. Like you can see it with the creamy white and the gold. I mean it's alright, but like that's not it. <sighs> I'm tired. Are y'all tired? I'm tired. Anyway, I changed that to like a gray color and then I tried the mesh with the the white creamy look, which I like it's also stupid. But I ended up on blue, I believe, and it looked so much better. I also ended up changing the darker, darker pattern on the, on the, the skin. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. I love her. I named her Zephyra and I think that's a fun name. She is definitely welcomed in my character group with open arms. She will definitely be a comic girly. I can already like tell she's going to have a great plot and be a little bit villainous but like soft a soft villain 
Anyway, if you have any opinions about this character, comments, I would love to hear them. Any critiques would be great. Um, if you want to hear Chrissy's opinion, you can stay tuned for Chrissy's Corner. If not, that's also, that's also fine too. Are you ready for this next design? Are you ready for this design? I am. You ready? Ready for Chrissy's yes. Corner. Boom. Yes. Boom. Look at it. Oh, I love this one. See, I was about to say, oh, I named her, but I was afraid See? that you'd be See? like, you no, didn't Chrissy. name her. You yes, did not did. name her. Katie, I swear to God, I told you you should name her Zephyr, and I even told you how to spell it, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna spell it this way. I, just, I swear I, to God, I, Katie. You said, you did not You come up said with the name. Sephora, and I said no, Zephyra, I didn't. and then I went, I how should Zephyra, I spell it? Zephyra, and you, you went, you said, you, oh, you said Sephora, <laughs> and I went, no, you, Zephyra. You are crusty. You just can't you hear are me. Crusty. You're crusty. You're crusty. I don't want to be hearing you. are crusty. I cannot believe we're lying no, in Chrissy's corner. I named Cassandra uh, Liz, you know, and Zephyra, mm, but mm, you're not mm, listening mm, to me. No. Let's just, this was a collaboration on the names. Okay, can we just establish that you do this every character design? I don't- You do this every character design. Mm -hmm. I'm so serious about this. I'm not. <laughs> so Literally, as you're, like, it. finishing it up, I'll be like, oh, that's a good name. And you'll be like, yes, I came up with that. Thank you. It's <laughs> not. I'm like, absolutely oh not. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. I'm oh. going to start recording every interaction we have. So, I <laughs> beat you up it was more of a collaboration because we both the thing is when we talk about character names like we both suggest things and then we both like combine yeah the options so like i suggested zephyra and you went sephora no. and i went no zephyra that girl 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 don't call me <laughs> what do you think of the character ignoring the name <laughs> she's gone she's gone <laughs> I think this this is one of your best ones. I agree. I think it's one. This of the is best probably ones. I know I know that like other one that I was like this one's like a nine point five. This one's honestly like one of your ten like almost ten at this time. Yeah, like I could see this little lady being like in a TV show or something. The only thing that like I think I don't like is, is the, mesh the skirt? exit. Oh, the X? No, it's it's the X's on the bra. I'm like, I, I don't know the what same those thing. are giving. It, like, needs I to be... I think I said that when you're designing it. It needs to be somewhere else in the design for it to work. Yeah. Like, I like the idea. It's just it's not anywhere else. Like, there's shapes of, like, maybe, like, a like a V or, like, a W or, like, a Z, but, like, no X. I'm like, the X isn't mm -hmm. giving anything. I agree. Uh, if anything, I just put one V in the middle. That's what I'd do. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. What would you- And then maybe with the, um, mesh thing, you could also mm -hmm. put a v-neck there if you wanted to, but I don't, I don't mind the up to the neck. So do you like the mesh? I do. Oh, see, I I don't you think would. I like it on the skin. I like it on the skirt. I don't like it on the skin. That's fair. So what, did you um, say what you'd rate this character? I don't remember. Oh, uh, 9.8. Yeah, I would rate this character a 10 as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh... What was I gonna do? I I don't know what the thing in the middle is doing. The the the, the yellow thing. It's yeah. like it's just like a it connects. It's a one piece, so it just like connects it. I I think that's goofy. I like it. I mean, I feel like something should be there, but maybe I could have made it in the shape of like the crown. You know what I mean? Like give it like an M. Maybe shape. or just like continued it through on the pieces of the fabric. So it, like, doesn't look like it's just, like, yeah, cut off on both, like, maybe. where they conjoin. I just, I really like this design. Yeah, I like it, too. She's cute. All right, well, thank yeah. you for joining me on Chrissy's Corner. Yeah, that's it, I guess. <laughs> and, yeah, and I named this character. No, you didn't! <laughs> I'm not gonna fight with you! <laughs> this is ridiculous! I never get the treatment I deserve! <laughs> this is ridiculous. You, you don't get your own segment or anything to talk your mind. This is ridiculous. Anyway, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please comment and subscribe, like the video. If you want to support me, you can go to the description, find my Kofi. There you can buy YCH, become a member, send me a coffee, or buy an adopt. If you want to discuss Toy House fan art, animation, drawings with me at all, you can go to the description, find my card.co. There you will find a Discord icon. Click the icon. It'll take you directly to my Discord. You don't even need to type in my username. It's like magic. Thank you for being here. I love you, and I'm trying my best. Let's try our best together. <laughs> 
I'm trying to have The more I see, the more I know. The more I see, the less I know. The way I know none of those lyrics.